What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm just making a quick video to show you I found a cheat engine for Minecraft Dungeons. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to the first link in the description, the cheatengine.org, and download the cheat engine. Now once it's downloaded, you will... hold on. Here we go. So once it's downloaded and you open it up and stuff, there will be a couple of things you'll want to make sure you hit exactly what I hit or it could install some programs you won't want. So hit accept agreement, click on the folder you want, click that, yeah, whatever you want for that. Make sure to hit decline on any of these installed additional softwares that pop up. They aren't real, hit decline on them. So on this one I would hit decline and then it starts to install. Now I'm going to cancel since I already have it. And now the second thing you'll want is the second link in the description, which is the cheat table. Now there's two here. Make sure you use the one specific to your version. If you're using the Microsoft Store Edition, you'll want to get the .ct file. This is the first one. If you're... One second. <coughs> Sorry. If you're on the launcher version, which I am, you'll want to get the dungeons-win64-shipping file. Now, once you do that, you'll want to make sure you're on a minimized Minecraft dungeon screen, and you'll want to go to offline game and just start. Now, all you have to do is be at your camp for this to work. Now. What you'll want to do once you have the cheat engine launched is you'll want to hit this button right here and select Minecraft Dungeons. And then you'll want to hit the file and select your cheat table. And once you do that, you'll want to click this button and this button. And then as you see, you have all these different things here. Now, before I should go on, I'm not going to be one of those annoying people who tells you to subscribe like five times, but if you enjoyed this, please do subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100 subs by the end of the summer. Now, what you'll want to do for the items to get really overpowered items is click on the item, and as you can see, it popped up as Longbow. Now, I can click on it and change it to any weapon. So let's say I want... Um, Let's go an Azure Seeker, and let's make it unique. Now if I exit out of my inventory, and go back in it, and click on the bow, voila, it's now an Azure Seeker. Now you can do this with any item in the game, but just make sure that you don't like crossbreed the items, because if you do that, your game will crash. Like, don't select a sword on the bow. Your game will crash if you do that. Now, another thing that's worth mentioning is that if you go to skills, you can change the enchantments. So you can like select which enchantments you want. Like if I select that one, I don't actually know what it does. And I click on it, it does have it, I believe. But I know what you're all waiting for. You're obviously all waiting for the super overpowered items, so let's get into that. Now if you want a super powered weapon, what you'll want to do is click on your weapon, change it to... It doesn't actually matter what weapon, but ones with more damage will obviously do even more damage, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so let's just go with... I don't know. What's a powerful weapon in this game? You know, honestly, we can just stick with the Firebrand. It's actually a good axe. So let's stick with Firebrand and Unique. But right here, you'll see Power Level, and you'll see something that says Float. You can change this number. Let's say I want it to be a Power Level of 1000. Exit out, go back in, bada bing bada boom. Look. Power level 991. I think I said a thousand for a hundred, but it really doesn't make a difference because it'll just go to an insane power level no matter what. 
So then if I go over to like this dummy over here, look at how much damage I'm doing to him. Now I can make it even more powerful. I can do a thousand. And if I take it off, put it back on, it doesn't change the amount of damage because of the max damage cap at that. But if I change it to the great hammer and stuff, which might be interesting. Now if I hit it, it no matter what does a ton of damage. So I can actually change that to 1 million. That's the highest I've tested, but I'm sure you could probably go even higher. And no matter what, it kills anything instantly, including the Arch Illager on the maximum game mode of Apocalypse. Whoops. If you smack the Arch Illager with one of these overpowered weapons, it kills him instantly. Now, one other thing I should show you is for armor, let's say I want super overpowered um, of this type of armor and stuff. Like, that. look at my health right there. Now, if you go down to armor stats, you can select the abilities your armor gives you. Like, if I said 30% melee damage, and then I take it off, Put it back on. Oh wait, first I have to change that number to 8 or it will not work. So if you don't change the number of stats to 8 and you want more stats, you have to do that or it will not work. Now as you can see, all of these say unset because I haven't set them in the cheat engine yet. But let's say I set them all real quick to lifesteal. You know, I'm just choosing random ones, as you can see. Gives you a pet bat. That's an interesting one. Chance to teleport away. Now, if I take this off, put it back on, all like that, as you can see, it's just super overpowered. And you can do that for every item. So let me do that for the bow real quick. I'll just change it to that or whatever and then let's also change it to an explosive bow because the explosive bow is overpowered already so now you see that it's like that so let's say I want to go do um, that's an easy one to do quick Let's say we wanted to do Desert Temple on the hardest difficulty. Now let's go over to where some mobs are and I'll show you how overpowered it is. See 110,000 damage from one shot from a bow instantly blows up anything and kills anything that comes near you it does kill bosses instantly also that's worth mentioning mentioning oh and one thing i forgot to mention is you can do this for artifacts also so let's say i wanted to do it for the totem of regeneration or something if i set it to one million take it off put it on put it on now, look at the stats. You can do it for any item to make it just absolutely overpowered. Oh, Enderman? No problem. Normally that would take a couple minutes to kill or so. Nope. Kill it one hit now. So I think I've made my point. This is just extremely overpowered. I recommend doing this, though, on your second playthrough, because you want to play it legitly first. That's what I did, anyways. It worked out for me, because I actually wanted to see what it was like, legitly. But then, now that, I've, now that I beat it legitly, I 
don't feel bad using cheats to just see what happens, if that makes sense. Oh, stole my key. Well, that's about it for this video. Once again, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you guys next time.